Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So a video I'm sure that you've been waiting for. These are my predictions for the IGCSE 0580 maths on the 8th and 16th of February. And then we've got the exams on the 2nd of May and the 7th of May 2024. So let's get started. We've got paper two here to start with. As we see, probability is always a big topic. It has gone down slightly from last year. I've taken the last 17 papers, keeping these predictions always up to date. We're now down to 88%, so not certain, but almost certain in this category here. And notice these questions can kind of vary. So sometimes it's just a worded question you need to work out. Sometimes they'll give you a structure like a tree diagram. On to sequences at 94%, there is no change in the percentage here, still at almost certain. And they do different kinds of questions. This is one to be aware of, where they give you a table with some sequences and you need to find the nth term. If you need to get practice on this topic, then do check out the video above. On to statistics, again, 94%, so that's gone up slightly from last year. And these questions can vary quite a bit. Stem and leaf is still popular, even in 2023. So keep that in mind, revise stem and leaf diagrams. But sometimes they'll just ask a standard median and which average to use. On to variation and proportion, slightly down at 76%, but still in the almost certain category. And this is a very, very typical kind of question here proportional to the square of something and then some detail. I noticed one of the very latest November 2023 questions puts some kind of strange words in as well. So be aware these questions are not always standard anymore. You will need to revise this very carefully. On to percentage calculations up at 82%, also very popular on paper four. And you can see often it's just a straightforward percentage question. Sometimes reverse percentage change is there as well. If you need to revise your percentages, then check out the video above. And on to speed distance time, now into the certain category. It's gone up from last year to exactly 100%. And again, these can vary. They can be a question of just speed distance time, and you have to work out the time taken, or you have to actually interpret a graph as well. Indices slightly up at 106%, so straight into the certain category. And I've got a nice little question here as well. Very, very typical when they have a number in front of the X as well. Make sure when you do these questions, you're doing the index to both the 81 and the three quarters. That is a very common mistake at IGCSE. And fraction skills are whopping 147%, perhaps the most important topic at the moment on paper two, 2025, that will change slightly. And again, that key, without using a calculator, work out this. This comes up every year. Make sure you're getting all three marks. These are easy marks to get and you don't want to miss out. Now, if you're interested in any of the other topics I haven't mentioned so far, you can see all the percentages here, and I've put them into a category of either often, certain, almost certain, or sometimes. So this gives you more detail. Notice there are some topics like sets and Venn diagrams, for example, at 70.59% that I have not mentioned, even though it comes up quite often. So making sure you're revising these often topics is the key to success on this paper. On to paper four here. So first of all, very common topic, volume, surface area, or 3D shapes, slightly down at 82%, but again, very frequent on the paper four. Here's a very nice example question. Be aware on 2024 papers, they give you the formula that you would need to use for the question. So they prompt you with that formula. That will change slightly in 2025. On to quadratics, again, no change at 88%. These questions can vary. This is a very standard question. Again, as soon as they say two decimal places, you need to be thinking the quadratic formula. So use the question to help you guide to what kind of method you need to use to solve this question. On to differentiation, again, always a difficult topic, slightly up at 94% here. This is almost always an A or A star question. So if you're looking for those very top grades, differentiation is the topic for you. Here's a nice sample question. I think it was seven marks in total. So often lots of marks available. If you need to revise this topic, do check out the video above. 
onto sketching graphs. And this has consistently gone downwards over the years. We're now down at 70%. So it goes into my often category. Just notice they've really changed these up over the last couple of years. So these table of value questions, which used to be very popular on 0580, generally less so these days, but they could still ask you to sketch a function, either a cubic reciprocal function or anything else. Probability, again, back at 100% at certain. Noted probability is well distributed across paper two and paper four. So this is probably the most important topic because it's almost guaranteed to appear on both papers. On to statistics, again, another topic which appears on both papers quite often. And here we are, a stem and leaf diagram. I mentioned it again, it does come up often. But again, be aware, you could have box blocks. That's also a key topic, as is histograms. It's cumulative frequency less so in the last year or so. But again, you need to know how to plot these and interpret them. On to percentage calculations, again, no surprise, this is also in the certain category, often big questions with lots of marks available. So making sure you're gathering all these marks up will guarantee those B, A and A star grades. And again, just like the paper two, I've put in the frequency of all these different topics. As you can see, it's usually concentrated around these three, four, five topics. And then the other topics are sometimes coming up or often coming up. Remember similarity, which I have not really mentioned in this video, still at 64.7% here. So it's something you should definitely revise in those kind of tier two topics, which are also important for success. And if you really want to get up to speed on all things IGCSE Maths Paper 2, then do check out the video right in front of you, because I take 10 of the most important topics on the Paper 2 and go into a bit more depth than some of the other videos that I have done. And over those two hours, that will get you really, really ready for that Paper 2 coming up either on the 8th of February or the 2nd of May.